Good afternoon, everyone. It's Gary from Soccer Pro, and today I have the pleasure of having Mike from NL Tactical Board with me. And Mike has a very unique product that is a great coaching aid. And well, before I spill the beans, I'll let him tell you a little bit about himself, and then we'll let him show you exactly what it is we're going to demonstrate and talk about today. So welcome, Mike. And if you could, please tell our audience a little bit about yourself, and uh, then we'll start talking about the topic at, at hand. Okay, well, my name is Mike Lupinek. Uh I'm from Detroit, Michigan, or I live in Macomb, Michigan. Uh, I was a Division One college coach for uh, 30 years, and also have a club called the Vardar Soccer Club, uh, and I've been coaching in that club for 35 years. Mm. Uh, so basically as a club coach, uh, one of the biggest frustrations that I had was uh, uh, buying these boards with magnets on it and giving the kids a visual in regards to showing them formations, uh, patterns of play, things like that. And every time I would get the board out, I would even lose a magnet or you know, would have to replace these magnets all the time. So one day, me and my partner, uh, Zibby, we sat down in regards to trying to figure out this solution in regards to devising a soccer tool or soccer board, a uh, coaching board that could uh, basically have the magnets embedded into the board and then use a magnetic pen to move the, the magnets and then also you can draw on the board also in, uh, in, in regards to patterns with the pen. Uh, this is the board in front of me right now. Uh, as you can see, the magnetic part moves the players, right? We have them numbered. So you can, uh, most coaches want the numbers on there in regards to the positioning. And then you could also write on it in regards to writing patterns, uh, even on the back, there's a, uh, uh, a side where you can do set pieces or even put your line up and things like that. So this is basically the product that we devised. Uh, I think what it does, it eliminates. Well, uh, can I ask a question but, on that? So basically on one side, you have the magnets. On the other side, it's really more or less a writing surface. Correct, correct. Right. It's, okay. uh, it's, it's still an acrylic. You can still put your line up. You can still do set pieces. You can do other things with mm -hmm. the uh, dry erase pen. All right. Uh, you know, personally, myself, I use this uh, side of the board more just because uh, we work on a lot of tactical things mm -hmm. uh, at halftime in regards to what positions uh, or what we're doing defensively or offensively and then moving the magnets around to help the kids visualize what we're looking to do sure. as a coach. So um, what is keeping those magnets in place when you, you set them, right? So basically, uh, it's a magnet on top of a board. Then you've got a magnet inside the wand, right? And that pulls it? Or how Correct. is that working exactly? Yes. Well, there's, there's a steel magnetic piece. Uh -huh. uh, and we put the graphics on top of that piece. Then the acrylic goes over. Uh, the glass acrylic goes over uh, the board. Uh, on top of the magnet, and then we have a magnetic pen that grabs the magnets underneath the glass to push the players around. Okay, and then basically once you lift the pen up, the magnet stays in place. So even if you tip it, turn yes. it, whatever, everything stays in place. Correct. Which is handy because now if you're going to hold it up in front of a team, you don't want to have to have everyone circle around this way you can hold it up and, and the magnets stay in place. So it's good for team presentations. Yes. And it, like I told you before, in, in the past, I would have this board and in, in uh, conditions that were raining or windy conditions, these magnets would fall off. So then here I'm trying to explain with five minutes at halftime and these magnets would fall off uh, the board. So then being in close, you can use this board in any conditions. Uh, and we also have a bigger size board too, a 22 by 34 uh, locker room package board for college coaches or even academy coaches that travel or go to tournaments that can put it on the easel and use them in, uh, in pregame talks at the hotel or even at halftime on the field. 
Yeah, that is a problem when you get one of those standard boards and you turn it sideways like this, you tip it up, and then if you bump the back of it, they'll all come bouncing off and then you're digging through the yes. grass to go find them. Yeah, and that's, that's the reason why we came up with this idea, just because, uh, and that's why the name was uh, the NL, you never lose the magnets. And uh, Oh, that's what the NL stands for. Yeah, and, and, uh, and also, you know, uh, hopefully if you use this board, you never lose either. So that's another right. variation to the NL word. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's uh, that's pretty creative. How long have you been making these boards now? Uh, we've been we've been uh, making the boards for a year now, uh, so it's been a year in regards to making them. And uh, Zibby, my partner, uh, I mean, there's been prototypes that we did at the beginning, so we're always looking to make them better. Uh, so uh, Zibby's the engineer behind the operation, and uh, it seems like it's getting better every year in regards to the corners, the magnets, uh, figuring out different ideas in regards to making it uh, better. Mm -hmm. Well, obviously we care mostly about soccer, but I think you have other sports, right? You can, you can get one of these boards for different sports like basketball and lacrosse, I think I've seen. Yes, we've, we've sold uh, these boards to lacrosse coaches, college coaches already. Uh, uh, hockey coaches have used them. You can use them for volleyball, flag football, uh, any sport that does any type of coaching on a board, we can uh, devise and custom make them a board that uh, they can use. Mm -hmm. Now, these boards, you can also get them customized, right? You can have a, like, let's say, university logo put on them? Yes, logos, names, like a, as you can tell with uh, this board here, I got my name, the logo of the club. All right, uh, there's some coaches that want lines, graphs, or grids put into the boards. Oh, sure, uh, so if you want to put like the thirds. and Yes, yep. So, you know, and some people will have, uh, I've had basketball coaches that had uh, lines in regards to their lineups. Uh, at, you know, during timeouts, basketball coaches will put the, the number next to who they're going to be marking uh, defensively. So, uh, custom-wise, we can do anything you want. Uh, you know, there, there is an upcharge in regards to that, but uh, we're capable of doing anything in regards to making the board more personalized to each coach. Okay. Now, if you take a personalized board, let's say you want a custom like you had said, putting the lines in and uh, putting your logo in, how much lead time does that add? If I want to order one online and then I want to customize it, how much lead time am I adding onto the delivery of that board? Uh, it, it takes us longer to do the custom stuff in regards to, you know, the computerized graphics and things like that. So, but in regards to getting it to you, uh, the lead time would be the same. So, uh, you okay, ordered a regular I, I guess board? I'm asking about, about the full like lead time of order to delivery. Okay. Well, it all depends on where you're at. Uh, you know, we've had people from Europe buy these boards. Uh, from England, which would take four days. Uh, some people, if you live in Michigan, it's a day or two. Well, California, same thing. It all depends on where you live in regards to the delivery. Of yeah, charges. well, that's not bad at all then. So where yep. are you, that's almost uh, significantly fast. Well, I shouldn't say almost, it's significantly faster than I was expecting you to answer. I thought it was going to be four weeks versus six weeks or something along that line. No. Where, where are you doing uh, all these then? Are you doing them locally? Well, uh, my partner, Zibby uh, Piak Piakic, uh, lives in Windsor, and uh, his main business is uh, graphics. And uh -huh. so he has a shop in Windsor, Ontario, uh, where he, he makes these in-house. In, in okay, so that's why you can do them so quickly. That Correct. makes sense. Yes. Yeah, I, I really find this thing, uh, you know, to be a great tool because... You know, obviously there's video for post-game analysis. And then we get people that come up to us and, and ask us, well, how can I use your Soccer Pro video on an iPad, you know, for game type analysis? And my, only, my answer is consistently don't. You know, it, you don't have time for that. You don't have time to be looking down at an iPad and doing things on a computer. Use a board. <laughs> you know, that's what they're made for. That, the the amount of things you have going on is just way too much to try to do anything with a computer. You need something fast, 
you need it simple, and you need to be able to get it onto the board and communicate quickly to the team because you don't have all day. You know, you got other things to do in the middle of a game. So I think this is really and, a and, fantastic tool. Yeah, and there's a lot of tools com that are on computer on iPads and that, but if you don't have Wi-Fi or you don't have good conditions, and in the Midwest, the conditions like next weekend are going to be windy, rainy. Uh, these boards are convenient because they're there with you. Uh, they're waterproof. Uh, you know, you can use the magnets all the time, and uh, they're convenient because they're, you know, it, you don't, spend time putting the numbers on the boards and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, it's funny. I've seen a, a professional uh, soccer coach use one of our boards and then his opponent was using uh, one of the old boards with the magnets and his assistant were setting up the magnets while the other guy was already in place, you know, showing his players. So it's also time effective too for any coach that he doesn't spend that extra two, three minutes setting up the magnets, the magnets are already enclosed and all he has to do is move the magnets with the pen, which is, uh, which as a coach, you want to make three coaching points anyway, but you don't have a lot of time at halftime either. Right. Right. Yeah. So when people so, want to get a hold of these things, let's say they want to order maybe a bunch of them for the coach and the assistant coaches for a university or a, a larger club. Um, do they just go to your website to do that? Do they contact you? What's the best way for them to do a bulk purchase of your boards? Well, you, you can go to nltacticalboard.com. Uh, and then when you go into the website, it says shop on the left-hand side. And it shows everything in regards to what size you want to purchase. If you want to uh, uh, you know, buy the 12 by 16, there's different sports in there. Uh, if you want to customize it with more magnets or grids, uh, there's also an upchart and it lets you know all that. And then uh, what you do is you put the order in, it goes into our, you know, if you want graphics, uh, we will send an invoice to you. And then if you want graphics done, you email the graphics to us and then we'll, we'll do a mock board basically for you, send it to you and then uh, let you know what the price is. And, and within three or four days, uh, you'll have your product. Well, that's, that's really fast. That's a fantastic process. There's nothing else. Well, it all depends on how many though, too. If there's a, we've had orders of uh, like 40 to 50 boards uh, that take longer. You know, I'm, I'm talking right. about the individual that, that sends it in and, you know, uh, we can get it processed within that time. But if it's a big bulk order for a tournament, things like that, we, we need a couple of weeks in regards to the leeway in regards to that. But if you're proactive in regards to tournaments or bulk orders, then uh, we'll have it for you. A lot of, a lot of people will order this product before Christmas for their coaches. Yeah, that's you know, actually a, something. I, I didn't right. even think about the uh, tournament aspect of it. I was just thinking about teams and assistant coaches, but this would be a, a fantastic promotional item for a tournament because now the coaches will come there. They've got the tournament information, you know, like logo, event, whatever on it, and uh, something they can use all the time. That's a great idea. Yeah, it's, you know, you know, just speaking to you today, but we, we, we got a, a coach or a tournament director that called us today in regards to that. You know, he's got three tournaments. He thinks his board's a home run for coaches. Coaches will love it. They'll have his logo of the tournament there. And, it, and uh, you know, a lot, a lot of times it's, it, it'll bring the coaches back to that tournament also. Right. You know, instead of getting the, you know, I've, I've been to tournaments where they just give you a chair, you know, like a $10 chair to sit. You know, this is more personalized. Uh, you know, I think it, it'll mean more to the coaches that come to the tournament. Well, so be a great gift, right? And something they really can't. I mean, they can't. They can replace it with another standard board, but a chair is a chair. You know, let's face it. But this Correct. is something that's far more functional and useful for their everyday coaching, and um, they're going to use it every day. It's going to stay in their bag. That advertising that the tournament is, is creating by using these boards, it's going to be a long-term advertisement. So, you know, the, the cost per view is pretty darn cheap. And let's face it, you're looking at it. It's not like a logo on the back of a chair where you may or may not be paying attention to it. You are staring right at that logo every time you're using yes. that board. Yeah, absolutely. It's free advertising for that tournament too when other coaches are going – to play other teams in their city and things like that. So uh, I think it's very beneficial for the coaches, but also for the tournament director too. Okay. We've one had last them, you know, go ahead. 
Oh, I was just going to ask about uh, something on the board. So you have a very unique pen, right? So you've got the pen uh, that goes with the board. How do you get replacement ink or, or is that just the end part? Is that just a part on the end of a standard pen? How does that work? Well, it, the top comes off and then okay. uh, the pens right here and then you can just clip it back on. Okay. And then you could erase it. Uh, when the ink runs out, I mean, it's like any other pen, right? You order more pens, you know, so some coaches will order three or four of them with the board. Uh, that way they always have them. But like I said, I think between me and you, I mean, majority of my time is using the magnets. They're so valuable. Uh, if I want to direct a certain pattern in that, then, then I'll use the pen. So, uh, but uh, I think it just gives you the best of both worlds. You could still use this. And, and the one thing I like about the uh, erasing the, the pen is if you lose the pen or, or things like that, you buy another marker, you got to get that off the board. And I don't know if you, you've had a board where sooner or later there's so many markings on it, it's hard to even put an X and O to it. So uh, this makes it a little bit more convenient, a little bit cleaner look than what you're used to. The other thing is the uh, mic, uh, that ink, it always ends up on your hands. You know, once you start doing a bunch of drawing, it, it, it gets everywhere. So that's a much yeah. cleaner I, solution. Yep, I always had to carry towels and all kinds of stuff, you know, in the past. Now I don't, I put this in my backpack with my bibs and uh, you know, we're off to every game and I always have it there. And, and the most important part of, of coaching is uh, during the game, you're concentrating on the game, but when, when you sub another player out, you know, explaining to him what he did right, what he did wrong, you know, defensively or offensively. And by using this board, there's a lot of coaching moments even during the game on the bench too. So if you have assistant coaches in that, it's, it's a great tool. Yeah, absolutely. So you've got the standard size that you're showing us now. Then you've got yes, the larger that's... size for putting up on an easel, right? Correct. Okay. And that's, uh, you know, why don't you go ahead and just, Give us your um, website again. It's nltacticalboard.com. So Nancy Larry Tactical Board. Yep, tacticalboard.com. It's mm -hmm. like uh, it says on my shirt here. Oh, yeah. But, yep. uh, uh, yes, tacticalboard and .com. And then uh, you can email it uh, nltacticalboard at gmail.com also. All right, fantastic. So locally made, quick turnaround times, great for tournaments teams, all that great stuff. Absolutely. So, all right. Well, again, I really appreciate you taking the time to uh, come on and tell us about this product. I saw this, uh, you know, I was actually a little surprised when you said you've only been selling it for a year because I saw this about a year ago and I'm like, man, that is a great idea. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I guess I saw when it first came out, but uh, it's really a fantastic concept. I mean, it's so simple. It's such a simple concept. The execution is just pulling it around. It works just like a standard board without the disadvantage of having those magnets falling off and into the grass and, you know, getting lost, wet, whatever. So, uh, again, I really appreciate you coming out. And uh, one more time, what's the uh, website where you sell these? NLTacticalBoard.com. All right. Thank you. Well, you have a great weekend. It's uh, Friday and uh, hopefully you have some games this week and I hope your soccer is and all shut down. We have all our oh. folks going over to Indiana and Wisconsin, but they're still playing at least. So that will, you know, we'll be grateful for that. Yeah. We just, uh, we just played a team from uh, Illinois in South Bend, Indiana mm -hmm. last weekend, yeah. but we do have scrimmages. We can play here in Michigan, but we have to wear masks. So uh, you know, it's a little bit difficult for the kids, but I think it's great that we're playing and uh, yeah. At you least know, they're out uh, there. Yeah, trying trying to get through these crazy times, and but I think mentally it, it helps the kids to know that uh, they can get out there and at least play play the sport that they love. Yep. Well, again, thanks again, Mike, and uh, have a great weekend. Thank you. Thanks for you know letting us get on your website and and interviewing us and things like that. And if there's anything we can do, let us know. All right. Great. Bye now. Thanks, Gary.